Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson. Tonight, we're in the business, so we watch a lot of television, and we've noticed a theme. Every day, the organized left and its public relations arm in the media tell us that illegal immigrants aren't just equal to American citizens, they are superior to American citizens. They work harder, they're more noble and deserving, they have more interesting cultures than you do, Mr. White Bread and Mayonnaise. They deserve better treatment. Contrast that to this story. Last week, we got new numbers on the drug crisis in America. It is by far the worst in our history. More than 70,000 Americans died of drug ODs in just the last year. That is a shocking, a horrifying number. But you may not be familiar with it because the press barely covered that tragedy. They don't care. Just middle America dying. No big deal. But if you watch TV in the last few days, you have definitely heard of a man called Joel Arona Lara. He's a hardworking, undocumented worker who, for inexplicable reasons, was arrested out of the blue by ICE agents as he drove his wife to the hospital for a C-section. Well, the media pounced. It was a moral atrocity typical of the Trump years, they told us. The Khmer Rouge never did anything so appalling. CNN went on the attack before ICE even commented on what happened. Watch. I want to let you know about this story uh, regarding a new baby boy. He is not with his dad today because ICE agents hauled his father away as the family was headed to the hospital where the mom was scheduled for a C-section. The mother of five just gave birth two days ago, the same day her husband, Joel Arona, was detained by ICE agents. Shortly after, she gave birth to her baby boy. While he's physically okay, this mother is living a nightmare. ICE has not yet commented on this incident. Living a nightmare, a made-for-television tragedy, but it wasn't just cable news. The Hill, Slade, ABC, CBS, many others did exactly the same story. They presented it as a dystopian morality tale. Heartless ICE officers told, tore a father from his family for no reason at all. They probably were wearing MAGA hats as they did it. Journalist and noted dumb person Amy Siskin summed up the media reaction with this tweet, quote, OMFG, ICE detained a husband as he was driving his wife for a C-section. The cruelty and inhumanity of this regime. Amy added an exclamation point at the end, so you know she means it. Left unasked in any of this was why ICE would want to arrest this guy in the first place. Did they even have a reason? Or did they just do it because they ran out of puppies to kick? Well, it turns out they did have a reason. Here's the reason. This is far from an innocent victim. Uh, this person was wanted by uh, foreign authorities for murder. Um, and like this arrest, most of what ICE does in cities and towns is targeted enforcement. This was a referral that we got from Interpol for a wanted person. Uh, we did surveillance to find out where they lived. And when that individual left their home, we made a vehicle stop. Oh, murder. So the doting father was wanted for murder, homicide, killing someone in Mexico. Actually, it turns out the Mexican government asked the Trump administration to find and arrest this man. But whatever. He's still noble and depressed. He's exactly the kind of person the Democratic Party wants living in your neighborhood, next to you, soaking up your tax dollars. The New York Times, the party's Pravda, said as much. Even after the murder charge became public, that newspaper ran this headline, quote, ICE detained man who was driving his pregnant wife to a hospital. The murder part was buried in the fifth graph after description of the, quote, outrage and, quote, growing anger toward ICE over the administration's, quote, sweeping immigration policies. That's what propaganda looks like. Artfully disguised lying designed to manipulate rather than inform. And you can tell by how inconsistently it is applied. For example, if you were arrested for murder on the way to your wife's C-section, would the Times attack the cops in defense of you? Probably not. The headline would instead read, Murder Suspect Apprehended. Hooray! The FBI raided Paul Manafort's house on a tax charge while his wife was in the shower. A letter to his lawyer would have been enough, but the feds wanted to intimidate Manafort's family with, quote, shock and awe. The Times wholeheartedly applauded that. Paul Manafort is an American citizen. Nobody thinks he's noble. He gets no break. And neither will you if you were ever accused of doing something wrong. If only you were here illegally, they'd defend you. Richard Goodstein is a lawyer. He advised both of Hillary Clinton's presidential campaigns, and he joins us tonight. Do you think, as Congressman Joe Kennedy of Massachusetts said, that it's inhumane, worse than inhumane, to arrest a man wanted for murder by the Mexican government? Tucker, I hope we can agree, before I answer that question, because we're talking about ICE, that in deference to our president, we could use perfect English tonight. 
Um, well, I, I think Americans should use today. perfect. Well, hold on. The Americans should you use perfect English. Why is that? Is uh, that uh, racist uh, now to say you should speak uh, English? Uh, uh, English language is not a race. It's it, what holds it, our country it was together. Wildly, it's okay. Wildly racist. For the Why is it racist? A it's, it, it, language is, this is so stupid. Sorry. Language is no, not a race. Not stupid. When our ancestors came to this country, they were taught in public schools to speak English because it binds the country together. A country that has no I'm common race or religion, I'm language holds us together. There's nothing wrong with that. And the left, which seeks to divide us for political gain, yeah. pretends it's racist to say you should speak English. Yeah. It's not. So, so the intimation is when you introduce somebody who's Hispanic that he can't speak perfect English, oh, which is I why the president know. went out Wait, of his look, way. Wh okay, uh, uh, Trump is bad. Okay, uh, uh, fine. But what's, no. the answer to okay. the, what's the answer to the question? The so to the ICE question arrests somebody wanted for murder by the Mexican government, and it's heartless. How is that heartless? Yeah, the answer is details matter. When Joe Kennedy said what he said, he wasn't aware that this man was wanted for murder, just like details matter when you talk about chain migration. It now oh, involves wait, Melania wait, Trump's wait, wait, parents I'm, and I'm, involves I'm, wait, Stephen on, wait, Miller's I'm, relatives. I'm, I'm, wait, what is Stephen? Okay, first of all, let's not attack the relatives of Trump officials you don't like. I, I'm not. I think it's I'm enough to assess people matter. on what That's they. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's not bring people's families into this. Stephen Miller's not responsible for his lunatic uncle, and Melania's not responsible for her family. I mean, you know what I mean? Like we're responsible for what we do and say. So let's keep it to that. But let me ask seriously, why? Even after the New York Times found out that this guy was wanted for murder, the Mexican government had asked the Trump administration to arrest him. They didn't note that until paragraph five and instead made it about the abuse at the hands of ICE that he suffered. Why is that yeah, not you, propaganda? Seriously. You, you, you'll have to take that up with somebody who writes or edits for the New York Times. I can't defend how they present which information in which paragraph. The fact is once we know that the guy was wanted for murder, the facts change. But again, I think the reason no, that the this facts is being didn't played change. up. Wait, but hold on. We always knew the. Uh, hold on. The facts didn't change. The facts drove the events. He was accused of murder by the Mexican government. The Trump administration right. was asked to arrest him and did so, again, at the request of the Mexican government. You could have right. known that if you'd asked ICE. Nobody did. And the presumption was that this guy was arrested because I don't know why. They had nothing to do today other than arrest people on the way to the birth of their child. I mean, it's like insane, actually. Don't you think? Like, yeah. why did no one ask? I, well, I, I don't know that that's a standard question. Was this person wanted for murder in, on Interpol? But if an American say, citizen, hold on, American citizens are arrested all the time. If I got arrested tonight for not paying my stupid red light camera tickets, which I really don't want to pay and shouldn't have to, right. but if I don't, I get arrested. Are you going to well, say, oh, they just unfairly arrested Carlson? No, you're going to be like, you broke the law, you got arrested. American citizens don't get the presumption of innocence that illegals do. Why is that? That, that Look, that, that's an exaggeration. No, I, I think not. the reason we're talking about this, Tucker, is because the walls are closing in on the president, and this is an issue he thinks he can make hay out with his base. Well, I don't the care what is the president thinks. I think this is outrageous. I think we have a right to enforce our own laws. I don't think we should sit back and get invaded by foreigners. I don't. That doesn't make me a racist. I, it makes me an American. I bet there were very few times on your show over the past five or six years of the Obama administration you reported that it was net mass out, uh, outflow to Mexico rather true. than people that's coming a, in. Mexico is one among many countries that sends its poor here. Who cares about Mexico? All of One third of all El Salvadorans live in our country. One third of the entire population of living Salvadorans live in America. Okay, so it's not just Mexico. That's just silly, right? I mean, let's be real. Let's be honest here. We have a right to I'm enforce our own laws, don't we? I'm just saying there hasn't been the full reporting. Just like you're saying there wasn't the reporting of this fellow being wanted for murder, there hasn't been the full reporting of the immigration. There, no one's talking about the fact that Donald Trump said Mexico was going to pay for the wall. He's talking about shutting down the U.S. government because <laughs> of funding for the wall that he said we Mexico was going to pay for. We haven't for. built the wall. Please. I mentioned it many times. I'm upset about it. I wish we would. Richard... Once we do, you can stay. I promise. It's great to Thank see you. you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. You're welcome.